Welcome to the ASIN Mine Refuge Systems Operator Training Video. The brief presentation will show you how to operate a ASIN Mine Refuge Chamber with Standart Model. Step 1. Observation Window. Just before entering the chamber, check the number of people inside it through Observation Window for your safety. Step 2. Enter and secure the chamber. Green light means the refuge chamber is ready to use. Enter the chamber by rotating the handles to unlock position. To secure the door, rotate handles to the lock position. Step 3. Siren. Press the siren button on the control panel to activate the siren. When siren works, the red-green light will start to flash automatically. Leaving the siren on in an emergency case will help the personnel locate the chamber. In order to stabilize lighting, activate the steady mode by pressing the lamp icon on the control panel. Step 4. Compressed air. Open all the way compressed air valve and check it if air valve is fully in open position. Do not adjust regulator as flow is preset. Step 5. Air Conditioning. Turn on the air conditioner with remote control. The air conditioner should be set to 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit in cooling mode. Step 6. Digital Gas Monitoring. Check if the gas levels are within respirable limits inside the refuge chamber. If the levels are acceptable, you may remove your self-rescue mask. Safe gas levels for breathing air are available on the inner wall of the refuge chamber and on the manual. Contact the authorized person by phone or radio and report the number of people inside, their identification, information and their state of health. If respirable limits not reachable, you should activate the scrubbing system. Step 7. Install cartridges. Remove two-piece ASIN carbon dioxide cartridges from their storage location. You may cut the vacuum bag with a carpet knife. Place on the right hand and center of the scrubber. The cartridges will fall into place with the rubber seals on the bottom side. Replace them when the digital gas monitor reads carbon dioxide as being greater than 1% or as indicated by the life support chart table located on the chamber wall. Now, remove one-piece ASIN carbon monoxide cartridge from its storage location. You may cut the vacuum bag with a carpet knife. Place on the left-hand side of the scrubber. The cartridge will fall into place with the rubber seals on the bottom side. Once installed, ASIN carbon monoxide chemical does not require replacing. Step 8. Turn on the scrubbing system. Turn on the scrubbing system by pressing the fan button left-hand side of the control panel. If the system is not working, you can use the manual buttons on the left side. Step 9. Install and adjust the oxygen regulator. The oxygen regulator is located in the storage. Be sure that the regulator and cylinder valves are free of grease as well as other contaminants before installation. Using the latex gloves, attach the oxygen regulator to the oxygen cylinder and tighten up for usage. Ensure you do not over-tighten. Adjust the amount of oxygen to 0.5 liters per person. There is a necessary adjustment table for the number of people in the chamber. Using the timer and marker, record the gas levels hourly on the gas level recording charts that are located in or on the wall or photographic operating procedures manual. Digital Gas Testing Guide Excess carbon monoxide level when compressed air operational If carbon monoxide level exceeds 25 ppm with the compressed air operational, cut off the compressed air supply and start the scrubbing system. 
excess carbon dioxide level with scrubber system operational. If carbon dioxide level exceeds 1% with the scrubbing unit operational, replace the cartridges with the new ones. Refer to the life support chart for approximate cartridge replacement durations. Excess carbon monoxide level with scrubber system operational. If carbon monoxide level exceeds 25 ppm with the scrubber system operational, make sure that the cartridge has placed on the left-hand side of the scrubber. Check that the cartridge is located with the rubber seals on the underside. Excess or insufficient oxygen level with oxygen cylinders energized. If oxygen level is less than 18.5%, adjust the oxygen regulator up one knot accordingly. If the oxygen level is higher than 23%, adjust the oxygen regulator down one notch accordingly. Manual Gas Testing Guide ASIN Mine Refuge Systems are supplied for manual measurements as well as digital gas monitoring systems. Manual gas testing should be done hourly using a gas sampling pumps and detector tubes that you can find in the storage box. 1 LA tubes test the carbon monoxide level, 2 LL tubes test carbon dioxide level, 31 B tubes test the oxygen level. Take a 31 B oxygen detector tube from the appropriate packet to begin testing the air inside the chamber. Using the tube breaker located on the gas sample pump, break off both ends of the detector tube. Make sure the pump handle is fully pushed in, Insert the detector tube into the rubber inlet in the pump with the arrow on the tube pointing towards the pump. The handle should be aligned with the 50 milliliter mark on the red line. Direct the tube end into the center of the refuge chamber and pull out the handle halfway along the line to the lock position. Wait approximately one minute for sampling to be completed. On the handle, a white flow finish indicator confirms the completion of sampling. Unlock the handle by turning it more than one quarter turn and return it to the initial position. Remove the detector tube from the pump and read the results. Record the results on the chart provided using the marker stored in the container. If oxygen levels reach 18.5%, adjust the regulator up one notch. If oxygen level is 23% or higher, adjust the regulator down one notch. Repeat the same process with carbon dioxide detector tubes and a 100 milliliter stroke. This time, wait approximately two minutes for sampling to be completed. If carbon dioxide level reaches 1%, turn the compressed air supply off and start the scrubbing system. If the scrubber system has already been activated, just replace the carbon dioxide cartridges. Repeat the same process with carbon dioxide detector tubes and a 100 milliliter stroke. This time, wait approximately four minutes for sampling to be completed. If carbon dioxide level reaches 25 ppm, turn the compressed air supply off and start the scrubbing system. If the scrubber system has already been activated, Check the cartridge has been placed smoothly. You must ensure your refuge chamber is in proper operating order so that in the unfortunate event you need to use it, you will be prepared. This can be accomplished through weekly checks as well as regular servicing that can be carried out by ASIN. For further details or if you have questions regarding the operational procedures, please contact us through www.minerefugechamber.com.